let's let's keep it moving and get to the elephant in the wide receiver room of free agents. <laughs> Terrell yeah. Pryor sitting at 190. Woo-wee. You know, there's no chance that me and Big Co aren't all in on taking another shot on on Paul on uh yeah Paul Richardson on on <laughs> Terrell Pryor. Pryor at 190. If you're going to give him to me again, I'll take a chance on on big old Pryor who had a nice season with the Browns. They're talking about maybe he's possibly coming back to the Browns, which well, oh anywhere but wouldn't that. be fa- yeah that wouldn't be favorable for me. That's not cool. That's the only way that I'm. I want to let Jay Wayne have his due before I get going on prior. But if he goes to the Browns, that's not cool. With Corey, Corey Coleman and and Josh Gordon, the Browns aren't going to all of a sudden get a unless they do like go for somehow some reason win. Yeah, maybe Cousins. that's the way you get Kirk if you have. Get these another, three monsters on uh, the outside. Yeah, if the Browns have a rookie quarterback, it's going to be. I mean, there's no way that all three of those guys can be consistent. They might be boom or bust every single week or something like that. Or either Josh Gordon's just so good, he's like, you better throw me the ball. And I just, I would be out on Pryor if he goes to the Browns. I wouldn't be out on him at pick 190. I'm taking him at pick 190, no matter where he goes. Yeah, but. that's. I think the bottom line here for me is 190. Let me get this physical freak. I mean, I'm just glad that they did have. He had like an injury last year that you could pin and say, "Look, this is why, this could be why he was so bad." Well, not foot only injury that he, landed him on IR, and he maybe did have give a, him a little bit of a break here. He did have an injury, but not only that, I did not, I did discount too much the turnover that the Redskins went through in the wide receiver room. The the way they started the the year off, they had a really good defense, and they really didn't know what was going on. Offensively. A healthy offensive line. They were and, trying to run the ball, and I mean, they were the first four games of the season everything went through chris thompson in the tight ends i mean even and, jameson crowder's getting and dropped ryan, ryan grant just and ryan being, grant being the guy that defenses didn't pay any attention to because there's terrell Pryor and jameson crowder who the fantasy football community loved last year and ryan grant's just scoring touchdowns from 50 yards out and it's just a it was just a rough combination of things that led to just awfulness for the redskins offense if you were specific players which was for the most part, for wins it, and losses, it started off good for them when they were all healthy, doing what they yeah, were doing. Yeah, but it wasn't but, good on the fantasy football field no. for Pryor and and um, uh, the other guy, was Crowder. Crowder. So it was it was absolutely horrible for both of those guys. But go back and just back up twelve months, okay? Pryor's coming off a, a ridiculously good season with the Browns, no less. And before that, he had one career catch. So let let me, let's just put it back in perspective. Did I was I a little aggressive on my prior love last year? Absolutely. Did I discount the fact that he changed teams to a new quarterback and that might not have been anything better? I was like, how do you get how you left the Browns and you went to Kirk Cousins? It has to be magic, and, and you, it and, wasn't magic. And you lost, you know, who you lost the the Rams head coach, but you lost one of the best coordinators in the game. And you could say what you want, but coaching and scheme matters there is there is no way that you don't lose the guy that goes over there and turns the rams around from being just a a a eight and eight team to they get the offensive player of the year jared Goff's all of a sudden not a bust you know what i mean robert woods is out there looking good cooper cups getting open sammy watkins is scoring touchdowns like the rams offense and it was absolutely amazing traded todd Gurley though yeah exactly (laughs) and todd Gurley's just just the best running back in fantasy football so that you lost that and so now you lost that and you lost all your other wide receivers so now you got this huge turnover you got new coach and st- you know new offensive coordinator so things just weren't and i mean to go back to it go it's not like they didn't plan on having a great year with prior to first game of the season first snap first time Kirk cousins touched the ball from under center he throws it 50 yards to prior and it just was incomplete like at 190 prior, I still prior's going to be one of the best values to me all year long with this because the bottom fell out. He just dropped 150 spots. But yeah, and people I'm are definitely him. bitter as shit about so it. So bitter. Give me prior all day long for this price. Obviously, I wouldn't go taking him in the third round of a startup like I wanted to last year. But things happen and things go absolutely bonkers one year and the next year. You're right. Look at. I mean, there's plenty of examples where I could call out, but like. I mean, one career catch the year before. He had a really good year, and then he had a bad year. But prior, he's, I mean, at 190, give me him. Load it up. Every team I got. Every yeah. startup I got. It, I mean, 190, what is that, like tw- 15th, 16th round? I mean. Oh, give me. I'll, I'll, well, I, we started it off, and I'll end it. I'll, I'll put him on every one of my teams, too, at 190. Nope. No problem at all. That's 15.8, 190 divided by 12. So somewhere in the middle of the 15th round, you can bet Pryor's going to be on my team. I mean, you can, again, if, 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 if this ADP is this low, somebody's upset that they drafted Pryor 
I mean, I'm probably if I drafted him last year where I had to draft him, I'm probably not going to give him up. I'm probably going to hang on for another you year. You got to wait. Maybe if somebody's super bitter, I'd throw throw some peanuts at him and see what comes back. I saw Pryor get traded for a third rounder recently in the, in the FFPC and probably got need to get under the 16 cut coming up. Um, I thought that was a, a really good pickup for the guy that gave the third rounder for him. I mean, I, th- I don't think you're losing anything there. Yeah. Yeah, and to close it up on Pryor here, I mean, we're sitting here at February 25th. He's 190. Like, if, if he goes to the Browns, I just we all just said that's not a great sp- spot because they don't have a quarterback and they got a couple other good receivers that could demand some targets. But let's say what p- potentially Allen Robinson gets tagged by the Jags here and he stays around in Jacksonville and maybe just – you know, everybody, a lot of people want to see Allen Robinson jump over there and be with Jimmy G in San Fran. What if Terrell Pryor goes to San Francisco and all of a sudden that huge tidal wave of Jimmy G love engulfs yeah. a little bit of Pryor? Pryor could go from 190 to 90 overnight. If if Pryor goes to somebody with a that needs a wide receiver like San Fran, he could you, you could pick him up here in the end of February and overnight he could jump 10 rounds in value for you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, San Francisco strikes out with a couple of free agents and doesn't yeah. get them, and then they just you're going to bring in a big, kind of bigger bodied guy to to. They don't have one of those right now, and and you probably get prior for for kind of cheap. They they'll probably draft a wide receiver, but we're going through those guys right now, and I don't really love any of these wide receivers. Right. So. Well, I, I mean, obviously, like San Fran needs a wide receiver, but I picked that spot just to mention sure, yeah. because of the love how, how of quick, Jimmy right. G. You know the, what I mean? This the scheme and the coach and the quarterback and all that. How quickly the value could turn around yep right so that, go and so. try and maybe pounce sooner than later yeah you could probably get prior for a fourth round pick right now <clears throat> yeah 